Hi, I'm Atif and today we can take a look at switching units in Fusion 360. I'm a person who work on metric system in millimeters but I often get my raw material in imperial system which is in inches. I don't manually have to convert those inches into millimeters. In Fusion 360, I can change my active units into inches and millimeters back and forth anytime. Let's get into it. This is my raw material which is 2 inch by 2 inch in size and 1 by 8 of an inch thick. Getting into modeling file, new design. I can draw a profile L for line, select the plane. There are several ways of drawing the profile. This is mine. We can draw it and then we'll dimension it. Close the profile. We can do D for dimension. This is showing in millimeters but I have to model it in inches. In Fusion 360, I can change my active units to units, change active units into inches. Now I can D for dimension. This shows 2 inch by side. This is another 2 inch. I know this is 1 by 8 of an inch thick. 1 by 8 of an inch thick. I know again this is in 1 by 8 of an inch thick. Now my profiling is done. I can extrude it to 2 inches. Select the profile distance 2 inches and I am done. My raw material is ready but I have to switch back into millimeters. Units, change active units, millimeters. To check the dimension, I for inspect select the edge. It shows 50.8 millimeters which is equal to 20 inches. How flexible is this in Fusion 360? You can edit the sketch anytime. It will be invisible in active units which is in millimeters. If you want to change the units, get back to units, change active units, any unit you want. It may be foot, okay, fine. It automatically updates. This is very handy for a person who work on multiple unit. This is Fusion 360 and thanks for watching.